Hi guys, let's look at how to tackle KCC project that is in the, uh, we usually have two uh, steps. We have Myrinstone 1 and Myrinstone 2 and basically I will combine both of them so that uh, you can have an idea on how to tackle KCC project. So uh, I reuse a marking scheme here to take you through what is expected. Therefore, KCSC project contains two sections. We usually have the database, the Microsoft Access database, and also we usually have a Microsoft Word report, uh, famously known as um, documentation. So uh, how do we write a documentation? We usually follow the following format. We have the title page where you type the name and index number, then the title of the project, year of the examination, and then name of the school. Uh, if we can just go to, uh, to a real practical, this is how, this is last year's KCAC project, uh, transport movers. Therefore, you can see this is the heading, then the name, the index number, the title, uh, though here, once you write the title here, it's okay. Then the year of the examination, name of your school, and then the date or the year. Therefore, this is how that page looks like. Remember, you can download this copy uh, for use from my website. The URL is just below this one. Then we proceed. We usually have the preliminary pages where we have the declaration, we have the dedication, acknowledgement, table of contents, uh, then we have list of figures, stroke, list of uh, tables. Therefore, if we go to this one here, you'll notice that um, this project, we have the table of contents. You can just hit a link below this video to see how table of content is made or is constructed. Therefore, after the table of content, uh, we have the table list of tables or a list of figures. Therefore, you can see that one is following uh, each other like that. Then from there, we usually now go to introduction. That is chapter one. Therefore, this is where chapter one starts, where we have the analysis, that is problem definition. Then you must talk about existing system. That is the overview of the existing system and the system structure. Then you go to proposed system, the objectives of the proposed system the scope of the system, that is of the proposed system, the benefits of the proposed system, and then you talk about the feasibility study of the proposed system. So guys, if we go to this one here, this is a very good copy. Uh, you see we have the, the declaration, we have the declaration here, we have the declaration, then we have your name, uh, then your index number and signature and date of submission. Therefore, this is the declaration. Then you can go to the acknowledgement. Therefore, you have the acknowledgement here. We have the acknowledgement. Uh, you must give an acknowledgement. You can acknowledge God. You can encourage your supervisors that your computer teachers. Then you also may have dedication or then you, usually, uh, you can also have the abbreviations, a list of abbreviations and their meaning that you have used in the system. Then you now go to chapter one. This is where now you have the introduction. You introduce your project. You say what your project uh, is doing. Basically here, you can read the question paper and modify uh, whatever is there. Then uh, from there, you need to have the overview of the current system. Therefore, you can see that part is there. And also the scope of the system, the feasibility, we have just uh, uh, talked about that one. Then from there, uh, we proceed to the next chapter. The next chapter is system design. Here, you are supposed to construct a system flowchart. And basically, the examiner we we'll check for the correct symbols, the logic and the accompanying text. Uh, you can also opt to use the ER diagrams instead of system flowchart. But um, 
system flow chart is easier to draw. Then from there, you group variables. That is, you uh, write down your field names of different tables uh, together with, um, uh, that is together with their data types. Then uh, what basically you're supposed to do here, if you go to this system, you see now we have the system design. We have the, like now here, the system design, this guy here uh, opted to use the flow chart. Therefore, you can draw the flow chart or alternatively, you may opt to use the, the ER diagrams, but um, flow chart is easier. Therefore, this is an example of an ER diagram representing the system instead of a system flow chart. Then when you talk about classification or grouping of variables, this is what happens. You are supposed to uh, show your tables together with their data types. Therefore, a table and data type, a table and data type. That is the table that are uh, supposed to be there, plus the, uh, that is the, plus the data types of various tables that um, you will be in a position to capture. Therefore, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a table called member. Therefore, you list down the field names and their data types. Therefore, you go to the next table, you list down the field names and data types. You go to the next table, field names and data types. That's what we are talking about, grouping of variables into appropriate entities. Then you should uh, capture a few screens of your forms. We call them input design and also a few screens of your that is you, a few screens of your uh, reports. But in system design, you really draw. Therefore, if you go to this part of this guy here, you see now you draw, you use auto shapes to draw how the form looks like. Therefore, if you go to the next form, you see in system design, you draw the forms, you draw the forms using auto shapes. You just go to insert here, you go to shapes, then you go to flow chart, flow chart symbols. These are the symbols, see these ones. These are the flow chart symbols that are used to uh, draw this. Therefore, mark that in system design, this chapter, you draw everything. In But in the next um, chapter, system construction, you screenshot. Therefore, you are supposed to screenshot at least the five tables. You screenshot the relationship. You screenshot the forms, at least the four. You also show your data manipulation using the functions. Like, for example, you can screenshot queries in Design View here, or even showing how you have used procedures, functions like E function, D count, D lookup. Then uh, you, you show them. Like, for example, here you're supposed to show according to the project. Uh, according to the project, you'll be given these marks um, going or aligning with the whatever the examiner want to see calculated. Then you also screenshot at least the, re the reports. Therefore, basically, if you go to this one here, you'll notice that the next chapter, system construction, instead of now uh, drawing, you now screenshot. See these ones, guys. Therefore, for example, if for the next, uh, for the last chapter, uh, members table, we, uh, we, uh, we represented this one in a table data types and this but for here you see now i'm screenshotting i'm giving screenshots of various uh, uh, tables therefore i also go down and take screenshots of various forms but in my previous chapter i was drawing using auto shapes that is the difference now as this one is concerned then the next part here uh, you just need to uh, demonstrate on how loading is done, data capture, how navigation is done, how data maintenance is done. Then this one is uh, a part whereby you are supposed to represent uh, or to present your project to the teacher and then the teacher will award you the 14 marks. But apart from that, we have user's manual. User's manual, you must write it down where you will show installation and requirements of your system, the loading process, the navigation guide, the procedure of generating output, 
then you go to miscellaneous where you have to write the conclusion the recommendation bibliography or references and appendix then we've been in a position to get the 100 marks therefore if we just scroll down this one these are screenshots of the forms various forms uh, then we have uh, we shall have the screenshots of the reports. These are the screenshots of the reports. You see this, the output is the report. These are the screenshots of reports generated from the system that is in system construction. Then after having done that, you will now go to, you see now these are the queries. The student is showing how to calculate date of birth, search, uh, using the queries. You can also see how to use the E function. That is a screenshot showing how data manipulation has been done. Then you can see a screenshot of the relationship. This was part of the system uh, design. Then we have the system implementation. This way we are talking about the installation requirements. Like now hardware requirements, Pentium 4, 2GB, whatever, whatever. Software requirements, Microsoft Access, Windows 10, Windows whatever. Then uh, you need to go and show the, the other parts, like the APDSs. Therefore, this is the conclusion. You can see the conclusion, the recommendation. Then the bibliography, these are the references that are, are captured there. Then we have APDSs. You can just write something like the abbreviations. You can uh, type something like um, the grocery. You can do something like screenshots of main form, splash form. Uh, etc. Then you can also uh, write something like this, showing the symbols and their meaning. That can also be uh, an appendix, an appendix that is. Therefore, guys, this is how you do your KCSC uh, project. But remember, uh, we surely have two milestones. We have uh, the first two chapters. The, uh, the, sorry, the first uh, the first chapter that is the the preliminaries. That is, let me just show you from here. The preliminaries, the preliminaries or the way, the preliminaries or the way up to here, up to system design, up to system design, up to this chapter, upwards uh, constitutes milestone one. But from system construction here downwards constitutes milestone two. Therefore, guys, that's how you prepare for yourself for a KCSC project so that you can score a hundred marks. Therefore, keep watching. I will be posting another video uh, showing on KCSC prediction on a project. And also, uh, it will help you to handle my Microsoft Access, uh, Access project. Guys, remember to subscribe. Remember to share with your friends. And also, remember to like and comment on the videos. Thank you very much.